ఇప్పుడు ఏంటి ఈ ఆరోల వచ్చేస్తున్నా ఏ వచ్చేస్తున్నా ఇంకా ఉందా మళ్ళీ క్లీనా క్లీన్ యు లైక్ దిస్ వీడియో జస్ షేర్ సబ్స్ Hi everyone, I am Ram from Think Plus Education. Think Plus is an IAM Grads initiative which helps students to reach their dream college. So today we are going to discuss about the IPMAT Rothak Quantitative Aptitude Paper Analysis. We will start from understanding what are the important chapters and how we divide into the different buckets. Here if you see, uh, we divided the total topics into the seven buckets and each bucket has its own importance. And I am going to tell you the four important topics four important buckets that you need to uh, be very thorough before you go for the exam. If someone is aspiring for a very high score, let's say that uh, out of the quantity adapted to 160, if someone is looking for 130 or 140 score and you need to prepare each and every bucket properly and especially you also want to analyze the last five years question papers. So the first, the top four buckets everyone should to be good is the first one should be percentages, profit and loss, simple interest and compound interest. This is the weightage, uh, the, the preference number one. And I'll go for the second preference as averages, ratio, proportion, mixes and delegations. And I give you a third preference for the topic, time and distance and time and work. And the fourth preference for the number system, sequence and series. The remaining three buckets also you have to be very thorough if time permits. But please make sure that all the four buckets you are good before you go for the exam. So we will see why we divide into these buckets and what kind of parameters we have taken. So let's have a split up of the 2022 IPMAT Rothak paper. In this paper, the highest weightage is given for the uh, percentages profit and loss. The nine questions appear from this bucket. And second bucket is uh, time, speed and distance. Here also nine questions appear. And third important bucket here is averages, ratio, proportion, mixtures and delegations. And uh, geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry also five questions are there. The number systems, unfortunately, there was no questions, but uh, I believe Every year uh, from this year, we may expect two to three questions from this particular bucket, right? This is the 2022 split up. Let me go for the next paper. Okay, uh, let's see the 2021 uh, split up of this paper, IP Matt Rothak. The highest weightage is given for the averages, ratio, proportion, mixes and delegations. There are nine questions appear from this bucket. And the second highest important bucket goes for the trig geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, the total geometry family. And in case, at least before you go for the exam, what you can do is you can revise all the formulas from these four things. And probably you can expect two to three questions from the basic level. So you can answer those two to three questions. In case if time permits, you can prepare for all the top level questions and higher level difficulty questions. And the next weightage is given for the algebra and logarithms. Here the six questions are there. And the remaining, as I mentioned, percentage, profit and loss, five questions, permutation, combination, two questions, right? So let me go to the next paper. This is 2020 split, split up. Again, uh, there are seven questions from permutation combination probability, seven questions from this chapter and uh, a averages ratio proportion, four questions, time, speed and distance, two questions. And number system this year, three questions are there. Uh, percentage profit and loss every year, if you see from the last four years, every year, at least two to three questions are there. So this is the split up of 2020. So based on all these papers, if you see that what could be the right kind of uh, split up, this is the 2019, I'm not taking much time. Again, the highest number of questions are given for the percentage profit and loss. And the second is time and speed and distance, geometry family. And if you, if you see here this year, the higher number of questions are given from the number system sequence and series, the 16 questions appear from this bucket, right? So let's go to the, the final number. The finally, based on the last four years of question papers, we are dividing, uh, we have divided into seven buckets. Out of these buckets, on an average, the number of questions appearing from the, these seven buckets are this. The first is percentage profit and loss SICI. You see there are five to seven questions appeared from the, that bucket. And the next highest bucket goes for the averages, ratio, proportion, variation, mixes and allegations. And the next highest bucket is the time, speed and distance, time and work. And then next geometry family. And uh, the number systems, sometimes they are giving very high number of questions. Sometimes they're giving very low number. But on an average, you can expect two to five questions from this bucket. The remaining things also fine. And if someone is from the non-mathematics background, as I mentioned earlier, focus on focus on these four buckets, the percentage profit and loss, 
average ratio of proportion variation time speed and distance and then stick uh, number system if, if someone is from the mathematics background obviously this is the edge for you these things you already have learned something at the intermediate level so you can take uh, you can take it as an advantage and please make sure that all the formulas you are revising before you go for the exam so let's have a look at the original ip mat rohtak 2022 question so before you start solving the question understand and look thinking about whether you are get, getting the proper idea for the question or, or not if you are not getting the proper idea stop solving the question and come in the second round or third round the first round of the paper while solving in the exam hall you should solve the questions which you can get the answers immediately here a dishonest dealer prefers to sell his goods at the cost price cost price means let's say that i bought 1000 grams at 1000 rupees i bought 1000 grams at 1000 rupees this is my cost price of 1000 grams but i'm selling 1000 minus x grams at 1000 rupees okay so i'm selling 1000 minus x grams at 1000 rupees obviously i'm giving giving x grams less that x grams would be become profit otherwise this 1000 minus x grams i'm selling at 1000 rupees means this is the selling price of 1000 minus x grams but actual cost price of 1000 minus x grams would be 1000 minus x rupees only as per the 1000 grams 1000 rupees means 1 gram 1 rupee 1000 minus x grams 1000 minus this is the cost price we know the cost price of 1000 minus x we know the selling price of 1000 minus x the difference is the profit the prof difference is here is x is the difference by cost price cost price means 1000 minus x x by 1000 minus x is the the profit percentage if you multiply with 100 you'll get the percentage but here 4 1 by 6 percent is given i'll convert into fraction 4 1 by 6 percentage is 25 by 4 1 by 6 i write here this is 25 by 6 percentage means into 100 this is fractional value is 1 by 24 so if you solve this 24 x is equal to 1000 minus x and 25 x is equal to 1000 x is equal to 40 that means you are giving 40 grams less 40 grams less means you are giving 960 grams. this is one way of solving this question let's have a look at the other approach the alternative approach to solve this question in the exam hall in the exam hall i do solve this question this way let me go to the next slide. Let's solve this question in the second approach. The second approach is, uh, you know, we want to solve this question in the less than 30 seconds time. In exam hall, when I see this question, I, the first thing comes to my mind is this, what is the equivalent percentage of 4 1 by 6 percentage? 4 1 by 6 percentage means 4 6 are 24 plus 1, 25 by 6 percentage. Percentage means in 200. This is 4 times. I'm getting 1 by 24 as the fractional value. So 1 by 24 means for every 24 grams, every 24 rupees or every 24 grams, I'm getting 1 gram as uh, profit. So this is profit. This is cost price. Profit plus cost price would give a selling price. So here profit is one part. Cost price is 24 parts. Total 25 parts. This 25 parts is nothing but 1000 grams. I want denominator. Denominator 24 grams is 960 okay sometimes even without solving this i will do in this way Four one by six percentage is nothing but one by 24 i'll see that which of the numbers are 24 multiples 950 is not 24 multiple 980 is not 24 multiple 840 is not 24 multiple 960 is a 24 multiple we'll take a small example here let's take a, a random percentage i'm taking that 11.11 uh, .11 percentage profit in the same question i'm just changing this number to 11.11 percentage if this is 11.11 percentage if this is 11.11 percent is 1 by 9 means 1 by 9 means 9 parts is the cost price one part is the selling price total how many parts 10 parts 9 parts is the cost price one part is the selling price okay so total 10 parts is 1000 denominator is your answer 9 parts means how much 900 grams you can do one more question i'll give you one more percentage just give it a try here I'm doing for 11.11 percentage. 11.11% fractional value is 1 by 9. Means if 9 parts is the cost price, one part is the profit, together will give you the selling price. Let's assume that 1000 is the total selling price. That means one part plus 9. Total 10 parts value is 1000. If 10 parts is 1000, what is the one part value? One part is 100. That means he's giving 100 grams less. You can do one more question for an example. Let's say that I'm giving 25 percentage. If 25 percentage is the in this place, if 25 percent is there, how do you do? And what is the answer? Just comment in the chat box. 
So that's it for this class. It is all about the IPMAT quantitative aptitude Rotak paper analysis. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.